Honda? Um, you know, when we came in, it was towards the end of uh, the summer, going into her senior year. Um, and uh, Motley was actually on her AAU team, and we were there recruiting, uh, looking at Motley and um, Safi Honda, and really like, you know, what she possessed as a, as a point guard, um, but someone that could score as well. Um, and because we came in late, she was already looking at a couple other schools. Um, she came up and visited. Um, and I, I would probably say over the next two months, we formed a really good relationship with her, and she felt like this would be the perfect fit. Excellent. Um, how'd she progress from being a freshman to a senior? What major changes did you see? Um, well, her freshman year when she came in, um, we had just won maybe 14 games. Um, and as a freshman, we just allowed her to just go out and play. We put the ball in her hands and basically let her be a scorer. Um, so she um, started off her freshman year just looking to score. Um, we just felt like that was the only way we had a chance of winning is if she shot the ball. Um I would say her junior year, we surrounded her with better players, and she be- she became a better point guard. Um, she started finding open teammates and not feeling like she had to shoot the basketball for us to win. Um, and then her senior year, she just blossomed into something really special where, um, you know, not only was she scoring the basketball, but she was setting up her teammates. And a lot of that just came with growth and, and knowing you know, I don't have to shoot the ball, you know, 20 times a game for us to, to win. Um, you know, some games she went in and she was just a distributor. Um, she just paid attention to what was needed during those times. And as well as on the court basketball talent, she became a better leader. Um, you know, her freshman year, like I said, we gave her the basketball and told her to just go out and play. Um, and as she got older, she learned how to, to lead. And um, I would say the biggest thing about her, she's always been um, one of the hardest workers um, from freshman year, uh, never sat out of practice, always, you know, first or second in sprints. Um, but she became a better leader her senior year. And I think um, it showed in the fact that her teammates wanted something special for her. Uh, they wanted her to get to the tournament, um, and I, I think that's just a credit to her because she re- did a really good job of making herself available to her teammates um, as a leader. But as a basketball player this year, her senior year was just something really special. Um, you know, uh, her junior year, someone else led the team in scoring, um, another guard, and um, for Fionda to step up the way that she did this year, not only with scoring, but as, you know, the leader in assists, she just became a really complete player over the last two years. Yeah, I was going to say, it sounds like, uh, you know, she's doing the all-around game, but is there an area going to the next level that she needs to improve on? Um, I would definitely say when she, when we recruited her, she was uh, a defender where she would get up on, you know, up into the offensive player and look to strip them, you know, getting a lot of steals. And because the game changed when she got to college where you can't touch, um, she slacked off in, in that aspect because, the, you know, she had to be on the floor and you just have to defend differently. So now going to the next level, now you're back to being really physical. And I would say that that's probably the part that she has to adjust to a little more, that the game is more physical um, on the ball handler than it was in college. Any funny stories or anecdotes uh, about her? Um, yes, but I think I'll keep those to ourselves. Cool. <laughs> no, she's a, she's a really good kid. Um, you know, she she likes to have fun. Um, not like she's the center of attention, but um, she's just a good all-around kid. Excellent. Any advice or well wishes for her for the uh, the next level? Yeah, I mean, I talk to her almost every night, you know, just to find out, you know, how she's doing and just keeping her focused on, you know, whatever they're telling you to do, you know, do it times 10. You know, if Pokey's telling you to, to talk, then you need to be the loudest person. If they're telling you that you need to play defense, then you need to do that. But just keeping her focused on whatever it is that they, they're asking of her. 
Um, you know, just been trying to stay in her ear that way. Excellent.